If your landlord is looking to evict you after the date mentioned in a possession order, they can request a court for a warrant of possession. They can also do this if you break the terms of a suspended order for possession. It all sounds a bit complex, doesn't it? So I'll simplify those terms. A possession order is a court directive concerning your residence. It implies that you need to vacate the property by the date on the order, which is usually 14 or 28 days after the court session. A suspended order for possession means you can continue residing in the property as long as you keep up with your payments and stick to the order's conditions. If you fall behind on payments, the landlord can appeal to the court to evict you, which might involve the High Court Enforcement Offices, but we know them better as bailiffs. Now, there's one exception to this rule. If you share accommodations with your landlord, meaning that you both live in the same property, they may not need to apply for possession or a warrant to evict you. Various decisions can emerge from a hearing. The judge will determine the best course of action based on the presented facts. If the case is adjourned, the decision will be deferred. If the case is dismissed, it means eviction won't proceed. Now, this can happen if the judge believes that the landlord hasn't followed the correct procedures, if the landlord's absent from the hearing, or if you've settled any outstanding money. If you're being evicted due to rent arrears or other debts, there are steps you can take. You might be eligible for debt solutions or rent arrears assistance. As soon as you sense the danger of losing your home, act quickly. Contact your local council right away when you receive that initial notice to apply for emergency housing. Under the Homelessness Reduction Act 2017, they can offer support. It's also better to take action early rather than waiting for the bailiffs. Organisations like Shelter also provide valuable advice and tenant support services. To request a warrant of possession, your landlord will need to fill out an N325 form or apply online via the Possession Claim Online Service. Though this online service is only available if it was used for the initial possession order. Now this process costs them around 130 quid. If eviction day arrives and bailiffs come to your door and you don't grant them access, a locksmith might be present to help them out. Once you've left, the locks will be changed, meaning that the landlord then reclaims possession of the property. If you're struggling to keep up financially and you're in rent arrears, you might want to find out more about debt solutions. I've got to be honest, there are pros and cons to all of them, so it's a case of finding the one that's suited best to you. Some of them can lower your monthly payments, others can even write off some of the debt. I'll leave this form for you just below the video. It'll ask you a few questions like how much debt you owe, how many people do you owe, and then at the end of that form it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with and they can give you all the information that you need. And if you use that link you'll be supporting Money Nerd, so thanks!